Someone just emailed me telling that everything that I talk about on the channel, or nearly everything, is pretty pointless because Donald Trump is going to win the next election. It's certain. It's guaranteed the Trumpster is back in. So the fact that the U.S. government just opened 22 million acres, I mean, that's bigger than a lot of countries. That's bigger than probably half of the world's countries. 22 million acres of federal lands to massive solar farms. It's going to be some of the biggest solar farms on the face of the planet. But, you know, what's the point of me telling you this if Donald Trump's going to come in and just scrap the project anyway? Now, as you can tell, I don't think that's very likely to happen. But that's just my opinion. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Just letting you in here on some news. I have no idea if Donald Trump will win the election. I th my guess would be that's not particularly likely, but I've got no idea. Now, do I think Donald Trump will scrap the U.S. government, the U.S. government partitioning 22 million acres of federal lands to solar? Maybe, maybe, uh, I don't know, who knows? But either way, in my opinion, this is a brilliant decision. Such good use of this land, which is, to be honest, doing nothing, realistically. The Biden administration has updated the roadmap for solar development to 22 million acres of federal lands in the West. I mean, this is just in the U.S. West. The Bureau of Land Management and the Department of Energy's National Renewable Energy Laboratory have determined that 700,000 acres of federal lands will be needed for solar farms over the next 20 years. So they recommended 22 million acres to give maximum flexibility to help the US reach its net zero goal by 2035, which is really good to see. I think this is going to happen. I think Tony Sieber's right. The US will achieve these goals. I think the US will probably achieve them even earlier than 2035. The plan is an update of the Bureau of Land Management's 2012 Western Solar Plan, which has drastically changed. The updated roadmap refines the analysis in the original six states and expands to five more states, including Idaho, Montana, Oregon, Washington, and Wyoming, which also includes Arizona, California, Colorado, Nevada, New Mexico, and Utah. It focuses on lands within 10 miles of existing or planned transmission lines and moves away from lands with sensitive resources. Here's what the government said. The proposal identifies 200,000 acres of land near transmission infrastructure, helping to correct an important oversight and streamline solar development. Now, these 200,000 acres of land near transmission infrastructure make sense. You've already got the transmission lines there in place. Put the solar panels there. You don't have to put in new transmission lines. It's very logical. Under the current policy, there are at least 80 million acres of federal lands open to oil and gas development which is 100 times the amount of public land available for solar. The strategy of the government is a big step in the right direction and recognizes the key role solar plays in our economy. But it does mean 80 million acres of federal lands, right, are open to oil and gas development. Um, this is 22 million to solar. Now, why don't we reverse these numbers? I mean, I don't think it makes sense. Eight, more than 80 million acres of federal lands appointed to oil and gas. Swap it around. Make it 22 million for oil and gas. Yeah, we do need, we still need oil and gas. They need it for plastics. They need it for manufacturing. They need it for tires, things like that. We still need it. But how about flip the script? Make it 80 million acres of solar, 22 million for oil and gas. That's what I think they should do. But hey, what would I know? I'm just some YouTuber. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.